What have you heard from clients as well in terms of, I suppose, retention of staff? Is there much of an interest around that, perhaps where people have maybe over egg tiring in the, in the last couple of months? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So uh, a customer of ours, I think we, we worked extensively with last year, placing around 40 people with them. They're certainly in that in that boat. They're, they're perhaps overhired in certain areas, looking at, at new product releases that have almost been put on hold leaving them a, a surplus of staff. So they've, they've made some cuts. I think the long term, that particular customer will will be fine. Um, in fact, I'm sure they will be. And I'm, I'm sure they'll return to to, to hiring uh, once the, the next funding round's in. But yeah, certainly cost cutting exercises, uh, a refocus on what kind of products they're looking to, to release and take to the market. And also their international expansion as well. What What is a good investment? What isn't? Well, we had it the other day when... Uh, uh, an organization that we deal with that's based out of Asia was was looking to to set up and establish in the UK. Um, they've actually put those plans on hold for for the time being, purely based on the uncertainty that they're that they're seeing in the market, particularly within the UK um, and and I guess across the the globe as uh, as a whole. They've they've actually paused that that expansion project. We, we've seen that a couple of times over the last six weeks. Um, certain industries like the, the crypto industry, which, which we work in a, a fair amount, have certainly been started to become a lot more considered on hiring plans, who they're looking at hiring, when they're looking at hiring them. Um, three of our customers have, have paused certain levels of recruitment, uh, not just in the UK, in, in the European Union as well, just while they, they wait and see really. How, uh, how things are going to pan out over the next few months.